adding carnivorous plants to your sunny patio, vegetable garden, or by the chicken coop will add appealing colors and textures to your backyard. Unfortunately, while each plant can eat a lot, not even an army will eliminate all the pests in your yard. Their beauty and charisma is good enough for us. Carnivorous plants, like non-carnivorous ones, use sunlight to obtain energy. They convert light energy into chemical energy, which allows them to grow, produce new traps, make enzymes, store sugar, and so much more. Many carnivorous plants can be cultivated in a variety of climates. Mirror how the plants grow in their native habitats to be successful. Cold, hardy perennials like Venus flytraps, Saracenia, and cold, hardy sundews grow in areas that experience hot summers and cold to icy winters. They grow in sandy bogs where the soil is constantly damp. Due to many factors, including naturally occurring wildfires, tall trees and other vegetation are absent or burned down before they become too large. This allows carnivorous plants to receive full sun throughout the day. To grow them successfully, provide full sun and damp to wet soil. You can achieve this by placing the potted plant in a heavy saucer of water. You can also place their pots in the shallow end of a pond or fountain. The larger the pots, the better the plants will do. The larger the plants, the more likely they will not be bothered by birds since jays and squirrels digging in pots can be serious trouble. Placing large pebbles on the surface may help. Six hours of direct sunlight is good. 10 to 14 hours would be even better. If you can't provide 14 hours of direct sunlight, six hours of direct sunlight with the rest indirect light may be okay, but they will not be as brightly colored and their traps might not be as snappy as they or you would like. As the temperature and sunlight decreases, the plants will slow down leaf production. They will eventually stop making new leaves and die back. These plants will survive in their pots if the temperatures get down to negative 7 degrees Celsius. Venus flytraps can be frozen solid if they are fully dormant. If they are growing at all when it freezes, they will probably die. They may re-sprout from the rhizome. Dormancy usually lasts between three and five months. In the spring, they will awaken, producing new leaves and traps and eventually flowers. Depending on a location, different species of Saracenia and Drosera should be chosen. Visit our website for more growing guides. If you grow in a tropical location where you don't experience prolonged freezes, our website will provide tips on that too. Nepenthes are tropical plants which can be grown outdoors year-round if you live in a tropical climate or outdoors in warmer months for those in temperate climates. Protect them from strong winds, strong sunlight, and freezing temperatures. Most Nepenthes do well in filtered light. Unlike the other plants mentioned, they do not want to be sitting in water. Keep their soil damp. Displaying them in hanging baskets is popular due to their trailing growth pattern. Water quality is very important for carnivorous plants. Most require a lot of it, and the water needs to be pure. If your tap water has a total dissolved solids of less than 50 parts per million, or you can collect rainwater, you are good. If not, use distilled water or reverse osmosis water, but not bottled drinking water. In their natural habitats, water is often moving through the soil, washing away nutrients. At home, carnivorous plants need pure water as they are not adapted to handle minerals. Symptoms related to hard water include Saracenia pitchers not opening fully, Nepenthes tendrils not producing pitchers, fly traps growing smaller than normal traps, and sundews having short leaves with black tips. If you run out of pure water, it is better to use tap than to let them dry out. When you're back in supply, give the soil a thorough rinse. Repotting on a yearly basis for some plants is also helpful. The International Carnivorous Plant Society wants you to be successful with your plants. We welcome growers just getting started all the way through professional scientists. We started an annual World Carnivorous Plant Day to celebrate these spectacular plants. Take a look around our website and you'll find historic documents about carnivorous plants, growing guides, free educational resources, and more. Have questions? Ask. We don't bite. But our plants do.